Okay. <clears throat> so in order for you to begin entering in your employee's time through QBO, once you are logged into your QuickBooks file, the very first thing you need to make sure is that you go to employees over here on the um, icon bar and then make sure that you have entered in all of the employees that are in your company. Even if you don't use the payroll system within QuickBooks, you still can enter in employees and track their time on a weekly basis or however your pay period runs. So once you have entered in all of the employees, um, to add a new employee, you can click Add Employee here over the right hand side of your screen. It's going to ask you, do you want to turn on payroll? You say not right now. And then you can just enter in all of their name and information. Um, enter the system. We're just going to do their names for the point of this video, but you can enter in all of their information. And then they will be added. <clears throat> so once you're ready to enter in time for the period that they worked, you will go to the top of your screen and click on this quick create button. And once you click on that button, you will go under employees and select weekly timesheet. Once from there, you're going to get a screen that looks very much like a timesheet. In the top box, you're going to make sure you select the employee for whom you're entering time and the pay period for which you are entering their time. Next, you'll go down and if you do track um, time by customer or job in the customer name field you want to enter in a customer's name you can do that by clicking the drop down box or you can do that by typing the name of that project directly into the box so you enter in the job that they worked on if you tracked by service item then you can select the service item that feature may or may not be turned on in your system and a description if the job time is billable then you will keep this box checked and enter in their their week their rate that you charge that you bill back for if they are not billable and you do not bill time back to clients then you can simply uncheck that box then you can go over and enter in the time for the amount of hours that they worked for the week you can do that if they work on multiple jobs during the week you can go down to the next line and enter in the next job that they worked for again following the same process to ensure that you get a 40 hour work week if it is a 40 hour work week. This ensures that their time is captured by the day and by the job, specifically if you do have job or project costing. Once you're done you can click save or save in new if you need to enter in time for the next person. If you need to if you're done then you can click the arrow and save in new can become save and close. So the next person we're going to enter in time for for the same pay period. Again, we're going to enter in the job that they worked on. We're going to say that their time is not billable. If you do build back time, you can leave the box checked. We're going to put in all of their time, and then we're going to save, and that time will be saved as well. So that's how you enter in employees' timesheets through QBO.